Glory to God the Father and Son Yeshua Mashiach. Leviticus chapter 17. Laws regarding the location of the sacrifices. Lie, IV, Adonai said to Moshe. Speak to Aharon and his sons and to all the people of Israel. Tell them that this is what Adonai has ordered. When someone from the community of Israel slaughters an ox, lamb or goat inside or outside the camp, without bringing it to the entrance of the tent of meeting to present it as an offering to Adonai before the tabernacle of Adonai, he is to be charged with blood, he has shed blood, and that person is to be cut off from his people. The reason for this is so that the people of Israel will bring their sacrifices that they sacrifice out in the field, so that they will bring them to Adonai, to the entrance of the tent of meeting, to the Kohen, and sacrifice them as peace offerings to Adonai. The Kohen will splash the blood against the altar of Adonai at the entrance to the tent of meeting and make the fat go up in smoke as a pleasing aroma for Adonai. No longer will they offer sacrifices to the goat demons, before whom they prostitute themselves. This is a permanent regulation for them through all their generations. Rai, E, Lai, V, also tell them, when someone from the community of Israel or one of the foreigners living with you offers a burnt offering or sacrifice, Without bringing it to the entrance of the tent of meeting to sacrifice it to Adonai, that person is to be cut off from his people. Laws regarding the use of blood. When someone from the community of Israel or one of the foreigners living with you eats any kind of blood, I will set myself against that person who eats blood and cut him off from his people. For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have given it to you on the altar to make atonement for yourselves, for it is the blood that makes atonement because of the life. This is why I told the people of Israel, none of you is to eat blood, nor is any foreigner living with you to eat blood. When someone from the community of Israel or one of the foreigners living with you hunts and catches game, whether animal or bird that may be eaten, he is to pour out its blood and cover it with earth. For the life of every creature, its blood is its life. Therefore I said to the people of Israel, you are not to eat the blood of any creature, because the life of every creature is its blood. Whoever eats it will be cut off. Anyone eating an animal that dies naturally or is torn to death by wild animals, whether he is a citizen or a foreigner, is to wash his clothes and bathe himself in water. He will be unclean until evening, then he will be clean. But if he doesn't wash them or bathe his body, he will bear the consequences of his wrongdoing.